To tell the history of Wisconsin is in fact to tell the history of sausage. Everyone knows the bratwurst, but they're in fact as varied as the blood sausage to the knockwurst and seasoned with things as disparate as margarine to lemon zest. At one point in neighborhoods like this Milwaukee near South Side neighborhood that dotted the entire city, there were dozens upon dozens of small sausage making shops doing things in the old European style. Sausage makers like Frank Jakubczyk, who after 37 years tried to retire, but then was pulled back out of retirement by his community, provided something more than just a great product. They served as a sense of home, a sense of community, a, a locus for people to come together in neighborhoods like this all over the city. It's more than just a sausage. It's, it's a tradition, it's a heritage, it's a disposition towards life truly. Frank, after 37 years, is continuing that tradition. Let's go see how he does it. Hello, Frank. Hello, good morning. What a pleasure to meet you. Glad you stopped in. The place looks exactly as I imagined it. Yes, it is. That's, that's uh, antique. It's, it's old world. <laughs> old world. I was hoping for a tour, maybe a chance to see you do your craft work, and uh, if I'm really lucky, you know, a little sampling. What is your favorite kind of sausage? Well, d don't make me split my uh, ethnicity, my heritage. I'm Hungarian and Polish, and I'm 50-50, so I don't, I'm going to let you decide. Uh, the very good one is, uh, is a smoked sausage. And you smoke everything right here? I smoke everything. I make everything here. I smoke everything, wherever have to be done. And here's a little sample for you to, to taste. And I also give you, you mentioned you are Hungarian. This one is the Hungarian style. Mm -hmm. That's with the cayenne pepper and the paprika. Of course. This will bring back a couple of discussions, not arguments, around the dinner table uh, at my Hungarian grandparents. I also make uh, the Polish variety head cheese and I make the Hungarian head cheese. See, the Hungarian is the same uh, meat, same quality meat, everything. Plus I add cayenne red pepper and paprika. That's what makes the food a little hot. And see which one you like best. All right, enjoy. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Thank you. Thank you, that make me feel good that I produce something you enjoy. So do I get a uh, tour? Oh yes, I can show you how we make the sausage. I show you what we, where we produce everything. And, uh, well, I'm honored, lead the way. All right. So this is where the majesty and the magic happens. This is where we produce all the goodies. Do I get an apron? Yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you have. This is a big moment. This is sort of like the queen going like this with the sword on both shoulders, <laughs> only of sausages. So we're gonna make some sausage. Cooler of the gods. And here is the fresh meat we're gonna use for making sausage right now. What are you and I going to make today? What kind of sausage? Right now we're gonna make smoked Polish we're gonna make first. So years ago I, mm -hmm. I used to buy pork butts, mm -hmm. bone them out, and make sausage out of This has got no bones, right? There is no bones, and there is a very, the best quality meat I can possibly get. And this is all pork here? That's all pork. Yeah. The, the variety sausage I make is all ah. pork. I want to feel like I'm actually helping you. So this meat that you use, the, the pigs were slaughtered, it was processed to ship to you, always just refrigerated, then you're going to make it to sausage. Yes. It will go into your refrigerated case and the customer will come in. Right, let's smell it. That makes a, such a huge difference in the flavor. Oh yes. Yeah. Well, let's get to it, Frank. I'm excited. That's fantastic. So what we do is just take the meat out of the plastic. 
Years ago, the meat used to come in a paper wrap. Now, I made sausage with my Polish grandmother when I was a kid, but we had much, a much smaller operation. Oh, yes. <laughs> you probably cranked it. I did, hand yes. By hand. Bolted onto the side of the dining, the kitchen table, and I would stand on a stool and crank it. Yes. Yeah, and that was only because she didn't trust me to not get my fingers in the top. Oh, wow. You can really smell the meat as it comes out. They're, sli they're slippery buggers, Frank. The aroma is amazing. So quickly the room permeates with the smell. This is the proprietary mix that makes it a Polish sausage, correct? The recipe is from Poland. So you've created these uh, seasoning recipes yourself over the years? Yes. Yes. Some I create mine, some I, <laughs> some I uh, got from somebody else. We all learn from each other, from generation to generation. My, in my mind, there was always to make it better, not not bitter, but... <laughs> I, I can work no. around a Polish accent. I knew what yeah. you said. Better, not bitter. <laughs> that is a lot of pork. That's an awesome... <laughs> and this is not just for dramatics, Frank, right? It's because you have to have the meat at the very bottom, so when it's pressured up, then it comes out into the casings evenly. Sounds like you have experience. You're not gonna have air right. in the meat. That's why I always uh, throw hard and mm -hmm. push and flat down so there is no air pockets. Yeah. What kind of casings do you use for this Polish sausage? Natural casings. Natural casings. Natural you, hog casings. You use hog, because I know some, you can use lamb or beef. <laughs> it, for example, in Poland, where I started, I used to clean those casings. Really? You know, you know what's in those casings? I do. <laughs> sausage, right? <laughs> Poop. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Politely put, that was an apprenticeship. Yes. <laughs> so what, what I do, this clean water. Look at that. The trick is, uh, is to turn it a couple times. I'm gonna see, it's, it's right there, meat is coming. See, there's still air. Yep. Does that get the air bubbles out then? That's right. So this is... Wow, that goes fast. See, it's important to, once you know how to control this. Right. Okay, so Frank, you're setting this up for me, but you're gonna give me a spin, huh? So I slide this back. Yeah. And then all the water comes out. Wow, that is the most silky, slimy thing I have ever touched. Leave the end a little bit uh, longer so it doesn't... Do you know, this is like, this is like making, this would be like taking a painting class next to Michelangelo, only I'm making sausage. Now you keep your hand on, just a little bit tighter, but that's only practice, makes uh, perfect. I don't think there's enough uh, pigs in the world that I could practice enough to get this right. It's a different kind of focus than I'm used to. This way you you make them, you feel how tight. Oh, uh, we'll edit that out hopefully. I send you the bill for <laughs> How much did I ruin, Frank? I'm not gonna lose anything. Okay. In all the years you've been here, and all the great sausage that you made, you're a little bit more than just a master sausage maker. You have people that have been coming to you their whole lives for their holidays, for their family occasions, and you remind them of their heritage. That's what I know, that's what I do. I, have, I 
work with the meat since I was 16 years old, 17 years old. And you're uh, you're like 28 now, right? Yeah, 29 <laughs> <laughs> and some. <laughs> How did it get so good so fast? See this? Now they go on a stick. <clears throat> and then do they go to the smokehouse? They will go to the smokehouse. Yes. Uh -huh. Spread around. So they don't touch one another. When they touch each other, they're gonna they're not gonna smoke in that right. particular spot where they touch. Right. This way they should have enough space. <laughs> now this, I'm now I'm making the sausage. I have experience, I can see that. <laughs> smokehouse is going on. This is the sawdust. Oh, that's the sawdust for the smokehouse. That's a hickory sawdust. What happened when I turn on, it's turning and slowly dropping, dropping the sawdust on this plate. This mm -hmm. plate gets hot, not fire, fire, but smoke. smoke. So we've got two of my favorite things, craft make sausage and the smell of campfires. I just want to stand here all day, really. Frank, I want to thank you for taking me through your process of, uh, of what you do. That is, it's, it's not just craftsmanship, it is artistry, I think. Well, thank you. I'm, I'm glad uh, that you stopped in. You're I, I'm proud to show everybody. Some There's many customers, they like to come over and see what, what, how we do and what we produce and uh, all that. It's small, it's simple, but uh, it's, it's the best I know how to do. Wow, Frank, that is amazing.